Hello everyone every day, airplanes make 120,000 flights around the world and carry about 12 million passengers from one part of the world to another. Today we will talk about the 10 largest passenger aircraft. Grab some goodies and sit back, we're starting. The largest modification of the Boeing 757 accommodates 243 passengers in a two-class configuration and can accommodate up to 295 people in a single-class configuration. Thus, it is the largest narrow-body aircraft ever built. It was developed at the same time as the Boeing 767 and became an immediate success. However, its sales declined in the 2000s, and Boeing decided not to upgrade it offering new variants of the B737 MAX instead. Since then, most of the B757 have been written off. But this model continues to be used by many airlines around the world. The B767 has a longer flight range than the B757, but carries the same number of passengers. The largest variant, the B767-400ER, has 296 seats in a two-class configuration and up to 375 seats in an economy configuration. Boeing stopped selling passenger versions of the B767 in the early 2010s and replaced them with an even larger B787 Dreamliner aircraft. However, many B767s still remain in the fleets of the world's airlines although their number is gradually decreasing. Airbus introduced the A330 in 1994. It was an upgrade of the previous models, A300 and A310. In the late 2010s, the A330 family was upgraded with new engines and was named the A330neo. The largest representative of this family is the A330-900. It can carry from 260 to 300 passengers in standard configuration and up to 460 in economy class. The IL-96 is the only wide-body Russian-made airliner. Few of them have been released, but recently attempts have been made to expand the production of this aircraft. The largest variant of this aircraft, the IL-96-400, carries from 315 to 386 passengers in a two-class configuration and up to 436 people in economy class. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner was created to replace the B-767. The new B-787 was introduced in 2011. It has three modifications, and the largest of them, the Boeing 787-10, accommodates 330 people in a two-class configuration and 440 passengers in economy class. The use of modern materials and advanced manufacturing technologies has made the B-787 Dreamliner very efficient, and more than 1,000 such aircraft have already been delivered to various airlines within a decade after the model was introduced. The A340 was Airbus's first long-haul and first four-engine aircraft. It was introduced in 1994 along with the A330. The largest variant of the A340 usually has from 320 to 370 seats, and in the maximum fully economical configuration, 440. Very few A340s remain in service as most airlines have switched to more efficient twin-engine models such as the A350 and B777. The A350 is a modern high-tech Airbus aircraft designed as a response to the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. It also replaced the outdated A340. However, the A350 is larger in capacity than both of the above. The A350-1000, the largest variant, usually carries 350 to 410 passengers and can accommodate up to 480 people in a single-class configuration. However, there are still relatively few A350-1000s in the sky, since the aircraft was put into production only in 2018 and is not very popular yet. Its smaller brother, the A350-900, received more orders, and by the end of 2022, more than 500 units had been manufactured. The world's first twin-engine long-haul Boeing 777 has many variants, each of which, depending on the configuration, can carry about 300 passengers. However, in 2020, Boeing introduced a new family of B-777, B-777X, and the B-777-9 was nicknamed Mini Jumbo because it is almost as huge as the legendary B-747. 
The B777-9 is designed to carry up to 426 people in a three-class configuration and much more in an economical layout. However, the first B777-9 will appear no earlier than 2025, and the smaller B777-8 even later. The B747, nicknamed the Queen of Heaven, is one of the most recognizable aircraft in the world. It is the first wide-body aircraft ever built and one of the few double-deck aircraft. The most common variant of this aircraft is the B747-400, which appeared in the 1980s and can carry about 416 passengers in a three-class configuration and up to 660 people in an economy configuration. The last variant, the B747-8, is larger than the B747-400 and usually carries between 364 and 467 passengers. No B747-8 in an economical configuration was ever built, and in general, the aircraft was not very popular, only 84 units were manufactured. The A380 is the largest passenger aircraft in the world and one of the largest aircraft ever built. This is a double-decker aircraft created by Airbus to compete with the B747. The A380 usually carries about 575 passengers, but could accommodate up to 853 passengers if the entire aircraft was built in an economy configuration. Almost a third of all A380 aircraft are operated by Emirates Airlines and have between 484 and 489 seats. They also have a shower, a bar, and enclosed cabins for first-class passengers, so those who can afford it get additional luxury. Thus, the existing A380 will remain the largest passenger aircraft in the world in the near future, since no company has announced plans to build something even bigger. If you liked the video, please like it, write comments and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss the new video. Thanks for attention.